We're just going to start out with some bacon right on the black stone. Now you can really use whatever you want. If you want to use sausage, if you want to use ham, some leftover chicken that you already have cooked up, it'd be great for this. We're just going to use bacon and turn this into a bacon hash today. It's going to be good. Great for brunch or breakfast. I'm actually going to use it as a little late morning brunch. This is just some bacon that I had left over and thought it'd be a good opportunity to get rid of the bacon. We're just going to cook this up a minute and then we're going to get some potatoes once this gets about done. We're going to put it all together here. So to show you what I'm going to be using in this is I've just got some potatoes cut up. These are golden potatoes mixed with some red. The potatoes cut up nicely. Just got me an onion a little bit of mushrooms and uh, some good old spinach for the greens. I like to have a potato, uh, some sort of onion or scallion, and then this is optional. Uh, I like that in there. And always some kind of a green to go with the hash. So we'll be putting all these in here in just a moment. Let's get this bacon, see how it's looking. Still got some ways to go. We'll go ahead and let this cook a little more. So my name is John and this is the Oki Smoking Channel. Now we do all our stuff outdoors or the majority of it on the Blackstone on the pit barrel. And since you're here for the Blackstone, I've got a playlist right here of all my Blackstone videos. You might check it out and you can go in there and find you something to cook on your Blackstone. So we're going to go ahead and really get this bacon nice and crisp and then once it's done, I'm just going to set it on a low burner side or maybe just turn the burner off. Then we're going to start cooking uh, everything else, merge it together, top it off with an egg at the end. It is going to be fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. What I'm actually going to do is just slide this bacon over here. I have this burner set to low. Those aren't 100% where I want them yet. And we're just going to let them continue to cook and monitor them on low while we get everything else rolling under the medium heat here. Just go ahead. You can put some olive oil in here, but don't really need it. We got that grease. I'm gonna just start with a little onion. Nothing like the smell of onion coming right up at you on this Blackstone. Wow, you just, whew, smells good. In goes some potatoes. It's going to take a while to get these where I want them. Just going to add a little bit of seasoning. This is a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic, a little SPG. And to kind of help with the cooking process, I got my dome here. I'm gonna get these in a nice circle. Oops. Just let all those sit under there, help keep the heat in, soften those potatoes up. We'll do that. Check it every couple of minutes until they get nice and softened up. Don't forget about the bacon over here. Starting to crisp up too. Starting to get that onion and potato smell going on now. The potatoes are starting to get golden brown. Still not where I want them. And once these get softened up a little bit, we'll go ahead and add the mushrooms and the spinach because I don't want them to cook quite as long. A 
just kind of breaking the bacon up just a little bit and a little bit of a smaller pieces instead of full size. We're going to mix it all together here in a minute. Okay. Let that cook a little more, brown up, crisp up. It's starting to get a little bit of a softness to it. You can see lost that, but it is getting a little softness to it there. Went ahead and turned the bacon off so it don't burn. It's just over here under no heat, staying warm at the moment. It's actually still cooking because this whole thing's hot. But. I'm going to scatter them out just a little bit to get them all on some good heat. Brown up. I think it's time we're going to go ahead and add a little mushrooms. These were just whole mushrooms that I actually went ahead and just sliced up. Some of the pieces are a little big, but you can see like that. See now it's really getting soft. But I want them a lot softer. We want it to turn into some softness of potatoes. That mushroom's starting to get a good smell as well now. Add that meat in. Whatever meat you have, bacon will work out real good. We're going to start letting those flavors mend together while it starts to finalize this last bit of cooking here. So we're just going to let this cook a little more. Let them potatoes go ahead and break down, get a little softer, let that bacon start to come together. In this dish, those mushrooms start to soften up and get good. Add the spinach on. Then we're just going to drop an egg in there. And uh, hopefully it turns out fantastic. That's what we're going for. Fantastic. Basically stir, cover, keep browning it, keep cooking it. Quite Let's go ahead and add in the spinach. Cover this, try to get those wilted up a little bit. You can put broccoli in here, whatever you want. Just some kind of green adds a little bit of a goodness to it. I really like spinach. I add it to a lot of things. Omelets, hash. So the heat from above actually shut my top camera off, so we'll go with the side view right now. And you can see how it's looking real nice now. This is very hot. As I said, the top camera got overheated from the steam coming up at it. So it completely shut down. If 
just going to cover this one more time. So I actually had a different mount, so I went ahead and mounted it on the side here. This may be how I have to do it from now on because I don't want my cameras getting too hot. And we're going to see if you can see this okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, starting to break apart. Goodness. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks good right there. You can actually just kind of mix it up if you want, really. Look at that. Just adding a little bit of oil to it. And We're going to cook an egg right there. Garnish with a little bit of green onion on top. Just looks like a beautiful thumbnail. Man, I don't want to stop eating it. That is really good. That is really phenomenal. Let me tell you, really good. That egg in there is good. I like them runny. Do whatever how you want. Throw your bold egg in there if you want. It don't matter. Mix it all up. Put whatever you want in here. It's a great way to get rid of leftovers. Just make what you want with it. But this is a great way to do it. Just some bacon, potatoes, and onion. A little spinach or some kind of a vegetable that you like. Throw it all together, add some salt, pepper. It's really good. Well, once again, my name is John and this is the Oaky Smoking Channel. Be sure and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.